through your stance, get your mat, get comfortable on your mat, take your feet a little wider than usual, and just start with some sways from right to left, just loosening up the body, bend into the knees, wave through the spine, and then slowly taking it into the shoulders, we're going to try and get the ribs to move and open the spine to oscillate, the hips to sway, the legs to take the motion, to work at the muscles of the legs and warm them up. And then from here, you're going to take the right arm over the head and around. Inhale. Last one and then switch. I'm just gonna remind you all that I have a bit of a frozen shoulder on my left arm, so this one. So my range of movement will be limited a little bit, but I have to say with all this quarantine at home, I've been working hard on it and I can actually raise my arm quite high now. <clears throat> so never stop moving even though you're injured. All right, so you're gonna take the arms all the way up and towards the ceiling. As you exhale, open and then close into cat bending the knees, rounding the back. Inhale all the way up, open and exhale, close and round the back. And I want you to try that as you exhale and squeeze the arms to the front, you're gonna squeeze all your muscles as if you're giving somebody a big hug. Inhale, open, release, open and expand the ribs, the breath. Exhale, squeeze, tucking that tail in, abs in. One more. And Inhale, reaching up to roll down. As you exhale, you're gonna curl into the upper back, trying to see if you can soften the ribs and breastbone. Leading the fingers towards the floor. Carefully, you're not to lean back. You really want to stay balanced on the feet. Inhaling here. Exhaling, pulling up through the belly. Pull that tail down, push the hips forward. Always reaching the arms away from you. Building each vertebrae, one on top of the other. Pressing the hips to neutral, lift the rib cage. Inhale, one more, exhale. <sighs> Try and keep those hips above your ankles. All the way down, go touch the floor. Inhale here. Exhale, scoop. Push the hips forward. Really engage the hamstrings, the glutes. Build each vertebrae one on top of the other and lift up as high as you can to release the arms. Beautiful. Taking an inhale, up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, heel comes down. Inhale. Good morning, everybody. I can't read who's here from, from where I'm standing, but good morning, good morning, good morning. Now this time, up to hold, bending into the right and then left. Warming up those feet. We're gonna try and keep those hips level. Keep lengthening through your spine, pushing the top of the head to the ceiling. Let's see if we can take those arms back, make a fist, bring the fist to your ribs and squeeze your shoulder blades together and let's go quicker with the feet. You're going to take that now into a little jog, bringing the heels towards your bum. So nice warm up. Staying light on your toes, keep squeezing the ribs, to, uh, the shoulder blades back to lift the ribs in the front. I warned you, we're working it out today. Heels to bum, and now knees up in front. So you're here. Try not to lean back. All right, you want to keep those abdominals pulling in, lean up and forward as you bring those knees up. Back to the jog, heels to bum. Open up the breastbone. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Knees up in front. Scoop up, lift and lean forward. So you get those abdominals working. From here, you're gonna go and imagine you're skipping a rope. You can do little side to side. Take one leg forward, other leg forward, 
and then both together again, side to side. You can always do this without jumping, so it would look like this, right? Switching legs, back to the skip side to side, one more, and then we're jogging, reach the arms forward, pull them back with a fist, squeeze your shoulder blades, knees up, skips, side to side, oh yeah, working up a sweat today, one leg forward, keep lengthening your spine, stand tall, other leg forward, back to center, and then slowly take the legs wider, and come to a side to side movement just to mobilize into the hips, nice, Shoulders, open up the rib, rib, breathe, keep moving, don't stop. And then from here, come to center, and then try and see if you can find that nice vertical line from the top of the head down through the neck to the sacrum. Finding that pelvic floor lift. You're stacking yourself on top of the pelvis and really feel the soles of your feet here, press them into the floor, guiding the knees with the feet, toes, so you're not straining the knee joint itself. We're gonna stay for that last one, hold, and you're gonna go and lift the one heel, up, down, other side, up, down, up, down, up, and down. Both heels, lift, good. Really imagine somebody's picking up your knees and then placing them back down. And two, and one. Rest the heels down, lengthen the legs. Inhale, open the arms, exhale, sitting deeper. Taking the arms to the left, up, over the head, back to the left, now to the right, up, circle around the head, back to the right, left, up. Open the rib cage, feel how the ribs spiral and mobilize the upper back here. Up, good, one more. Back to center, inhale, open the arms, and hands to the hips, exhale, and jump. One, and jump, two, and jump, three, and jump, four, pulse, five, four, Three, reach those knees apart, two, and one. Go deep, press up, and take it side to side. Now this time, instead of going up and down, I want you to try and stay at the same level. If you can, take the feet a little wider apart, a little bit, and see if you can sit lower and deeper. Notice the side view here. My trunk now, scoop the belly in. I'm at a slight angle so I can really get into those glutes. And I wanna sit down deep. Sit down deep. If you can't, go to the height that you can. Just make sure you're supported through your low back. And one more. Very good. You're gonna turn now over your left leg. Slowly put the knee down. Walk it in a little and come to an upright position. Square the hips, make sure your knees or legs are hip width, and send that tailbone down, pull the body up on top of the pelvis, take the right arm now forward, opposition to the left, and reach. As you bring the trunk back on top of the pelvis, bring your arm up over your head and try and find length all the way down to that knee. So going forward, exhale, inhale, lift. One more. Both hands now together. Exhale. My hands are in a prayer position. Inhale up. One more, stay in the lunge. So my hips are gonna stay here as I now lift out of the lower back. So now more of a warrior position. 
position. Breathe, try and really push the ceiling away with your arms. So you're trying to really lift out of the rib cage. Very nice, bringing the arms down. Scoop the belly in, stack yourself back on top of your pelvis, and now tuck the toes behind you. We're gonna be pushing into those toes to lift this knee. If you need to, hands on your hips or hold the wall. Up, well done. From here, we're gonna go up into a balanced position. So press into the standing leg, lift the knee, stack the spine and grow up tall. So scoop, lift, lean forward. From here, big step back, down into lunge. If you want to add some arm movement here, you're going to inhale, here lift, exhale, hands to heart. In. Now if you want to work a bit more cardio, you can do four more basic or add the cardio bit where you hop up. Down, hop, down, two more, hop, lifting that leg, last one, now take that same leg, I'll show you front on, cross to the back, go down, twist, bringing your elbow towards the knee, come back, and balance, back, cross, up, balance. Back and cross. This is a lovely stretch for the glute and the low back. Now all the way up to the sling to the shoulder. Now we're going to take that same leg that's lifted all the way back into big lunge. We're going to go and reach those arms forward again. Exhale, sit deeper into the hips. Find that straight line through your body. Inhale now up out of the low back. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, see if you can go deeper. Inhale, now separate the arms, circling them to the back. And again, in, lift, push into the back foot, open up the, the rib cage. One more, circling the arms to the back to hold. See if you can, lace the hands together. If you can't, you're just reaching back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift, breastbone, exhale, sit deeper, one more, and take the right arm forward, back stroke, left arm forward, right arm back, continue back stroking, so you're twisting now into the upper body, now right arm forward, left arm back, see if you can twist towards that left leg. Sit a little deeper if you have the capacity. If not, you're coming upright. One more breath in. Lift that arm up. Square yourself and turn to face forward. Now you're going to go into your side abduct abductors again. Stretch. 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 How are you feeling so far? I hope your cat, your breath is... Uh, it's panting a little bit, you're out of breath. And we're gonna do one more. Hold now the other side. Very good, turn. Walk your feet so that they're hip width and bring the knee to the floor. Stack yourself, head on top of pelvis. And now if your right leg is forward, your left arm is reaching to the front. Inhaling, reach. Exhaling, stack yourself on top of your pelvis and bring that arm up as high as you can. Inhale, uh, sorry, exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, opening the hip. Inhale, opening that whole chain from the knee to the shoulders, all the way to the fingers. On this one now, both arms, pray your hands. Inhale, up out of the lower back. Inhale, up, keep those hips forward. And two, and one, we hold. I'm not just hanging out, I'm really pushing, lifting, getting as much length out of my spine as possible. So tailbone pulls down, and crown of the head pulls up. Inhale, 
inhale fully, exhale fully. Inhale, push all the way up, and exhale, bring the arms down. Well done, tuck the toes back. Shoo. We're pushing up out of that leg into a full standing lunge. So, hop, well done. Now we're gonna push up into a balance, standing balance. So slowly, drag that back leg up, bring the knee up in front of you, and remember we're not leaning back. You're scooping the belly in, lengthening the spine and bringing your body forward on top of your pelvis, knee towards you. Slowly lunge back, and up. Again, those of you who want to add the arms, inhale into the lunge, arms up, exhale, arms to prayer. And for those of you who want to add a little hop, this is optional, you hop up. A little bit of plyometrics here, push. Two more, push, push. Cross lunge, so taking that same leg behind the front leg, opposite elbow meets the knee, up standing balance, and again, getting that cross chain now from the glute to the opposite shoulder, nice and stretched, and one more. From the standing balance, take that same left leg all the way back onto the toes, see if you can take a slightly bigger step. And then slowly take the hands forward, inhale, exhale, dive into the hip. Inhale, up out of the lower back, try and keep the hips where they are. Remember, if you're able to take the arms up all the way by your ears, go for it. So it would look more like this. I couldn't do this a few weeks ago with my frozen shoulder. This is a big improvement. Circling the arms now, inhale, separate, circle, exhale to the front. Inhale, circle, exhale, core. One more, circle to hold. You can stay here or lace the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the heart. Cynthia, if you're here, you ask for some pec opening movements. Here it is. <laughs> One more breath in and out. Very good, now left arm forward. Back stroke, one, you're twisting. Trying to get the upper body to rotate relative to the pelvis, the stable pelvis. One more, now left arm forward, hold, and turn your trunk towards the right. So if your right leg's in front, you're turning towards that front leg. Push into the back leg. One more breath. Inhale, up to exhale, turn to face forward, and go into that adductor stretch. And switch. Switch. Ah, oh, well done. And this is time for the water break. Okay, so we're going into our push-ups. We're gonna be doing four sets of push-ups today. So now we're coming down onto all fours. Remember, you have the choice of what position you take for the push-up. Your hands are under your shoulders, your hips are over your knees, or back up the knees, kneeling plank. Hands can go a little wider if you feel more comfortable. Otherwise, push up in full plank. You're not here, right? Push up out of the shoulders, lift up the belly, slide that tail down. So you're not also into that lower back, okay? We're gonna go for 10. Choose your position. I'm gonna go kneeling. Broaden the shoulder blades, lift the head up in line with the spine, scoop the belly in, tail down, and let's go. Down, exhale, up, inhale. Now you can work at your own pace or follow my pace, that's up to you. Try and stay wide through the shoulder girdle, scoop that belly in, keep the tail down. Last one and then child's pose back. Well done. So we're gonna stay on all fours now for part two. From here, hands come under the shoulders, knees under the hips. I want you to imagine now that you've got a broomstick along your spine. So your head, your upper back, and your sacrum 
should be in contact with that broomstick. So you don't want to flop the head down. Scoop the belly up, support the back, and push up out of those shoulder blades so they feel wide against your back. We're going to hold here, bending the elbows, circle the elbows in and under to then push back. So you're working more tricep. Come forward, bend, circle the elbows under, push back into the palms, especially the knuckle of the index fingers pressing into the floor. Circle, elbows under, push back, come up. Now tuck your toes under, walk the hands forward maybe one step, and repeat. This time, as you push back, pick the knees up off the floor, so you end up into a kneeling, uh, sorry, a bent knee down dog. Come back into box with the knees hovering, and then put the knees down. Bend, circle the elbows under. As you push back, lift the knees into a bent leg down dog. Bring your body forward, plank with the knees bent, and bring the knees down. One more, bend, circle the elbows under, scoop the belly, push back, Lift the knees, down dog, bent legs. If you want, now stretch to then bend. Come back to your box and put the knees down. Very nice. So from here, if you need a little wrist break, go for it. Now we're gonna go into some back work. So while you're here on all fours, scoop the belly in, lift the spine. Remember your broomsticks on your back. You're gonna take an inhale. As you exhale now, bring the right knee into your nose, nose to the knee, scoop the belly muscles in. And as you lengthen that leg, lengthen the spine, think of your broomstick, and then push that heel back. Carefully don't tip the pelvis over, the pelvis is square. So let's go again. Inhale, push. Exhale, pull up through the abdominals. Inhale, one more. We hold that back leg up. Now I've got my foot flexed. Toes point to the floor, kneecap points to the floor. Push the wall behind you with your foot or heel. Push up out of the arm, scoop the belly. And now the opposite arm comes back to the hip. Hold this if this is okay for you. If not, see if you can circle that arm around all the way up to the front. And now push the front wall with the palm of your hand in opposition to the back foot. Pause and breathe. Another two, you can do it. One, scoop up, bring the back leg heel to bum, circle the arm, go catch that foot. If you cannot catch the foot, you are holding this position. If not, catch the foot and slowly, pec opener. Shoulder rolls back, kick the foot up to the ceiling, and bow your back now into a back bend. So inhaling into that solar plexus breastbone. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So you can go a little further, higher. And now with control, release. Go back to your long spine, long leg, long arm. Bring it all the way back in and round the back. Nice. Coming back to center. We're gonna do it all again on the other side. So think of that broomstick on your back, long spine, knee to nose, other leg. From here, long spine, pump the heel to the back wall. One more, we hold that back leg up. Remember, square the hips, scoop the belly, push the back heel back, toes and kneecap face the floor. If you can, opposite arm, hand to hip. If not, you're taking it a little further with the arm out in front. Careful you don't drop into this shoulder. Really push up, scoop the belly in and up. Push the wall in front, push the wall in back. Lengthen your spine, tail to neck to head. If you can, you're going to bend that heel to the bum, reach back, otherwise catch the foot. If you can, go into that back bend, roll the shoulder back, open up the front chain of your body. 
body. Imagine pubic bone and breast bone reaching away from each other here. It's kicking that back leg up. See if you can go a little deeper on that next breath. With control, slowly release. Long to then come back with control. Rounding the back. And release. We're going into our second round of push-ups. So this time, make a slight variation. Rather than taking the arms shoulder width, take them wider than the mat. You're gonna bring your hands in line with your shoulders and bring the chest between your hands, not your forehead. So scoop up, broaden your shoulders, chest between the hands, press up. You wanna feel here that your elbows are pulling away from each other. And again. Four, five, six, seven, scoop the belly up, nine, and ten, child's pose. Water break. <laughs> okay, so once again, you're on your knees. Um, but this time we're going to be working uh, side to side planks. <clears throat> so from all fours, remember how you bent the elbows, roll them under, go for it, do that. Then tuck the toes, push up into downward dog. So lengthen out the arms, lengthen out the legs, push the heels down. From here, we're moving into plank. Pull up through the belly, tuck the tail. Slowly worm yourself forward through your spine, up and hold. Two, three, four, five. Bring the elbow to your, uh, sorry, the knee to your nose. Now knee to right elbow. Now knee to left elbow. Crisscross it around underneath you. Switching legs, knee to nose. Knee to left elbow. Knee to right elbow, crisscross underneath you. Again, knee to nose, knee to elbow, knee to opposite elbow, and center. Knee to nose, other leg, knee to elbow, knee to opposite elbow, and center. Now, right knee to nose, put the knee down, pivot on that knee, walk the hand, right hand in line with the right knee, and now push that right hip forward to open up the ribs, the waist, to the ceiling. Breathing in, top arm reaches up overhead. Exhale, circle the arm to the back behind the hip to allow you to open up that pec a little more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, hold. Palm of the hand pushes the wall. See if you can pick up that back leg. You're really pushing the hips forward here. You're not collapsing into the bottom leg. Breathing. Fill up that left lung, top lung. Beautiful. Now you're going to bend that top leg. Bring the foot to the floor and see if you can turn the chest a little more to the ceiling. So I'm really squeezing my glutes here, pushing the pelvis forward and lifting up the heart. For those yogis out there, we can go more into a back bend. Slowly bring that leg back in line with the right knee. Scoop yourself up into this supporting leg. And now you're gonna reach this right arm forward. So we're doing an elbow walk for the intercostals. So open up the ribs. Top arm spins, pushes up to the ceiling, and now lean as far as you can, pushing that outside foot into the floor, pushing the heel of the hand away, and really spin, pivoting into a rotation to open up. Keep lifting, keep pushing. Remember, we're looking for that plastic change. And all the way up, and release down. Very nice, bringing the hand back to the floor. 
This top arm now pivots underneath the supporting arm to twist into that upper back. Empty your lungs to then inhale, inflate and open. Exhale, squeeze all the air out. Inhale, pump, open. Exhale, inhale. Finishing hand to floor, pivot to square yourself. Take the right knee up off the floor and slowly take that leg across to the left. You're on the edge of this foot. Put the left heel behind you down and turn. Up, lift the hips, open up the body. One more breath in and out. Inhale, exhale, hand to the floor, twist. Big stretch here, lift the back heel. One-legged plank, five, four, belly in, two, one, foot comes down. Left knee, knee to nose. Put the knee down, pivot on that left knee to turn onto your left side, sideways. I'm gonna face the other way so I can see you all. Okay, so we're pushing that left hip forward. <sighs> Lifting up from underneath, taking the right arm, inhale overhead, plant the foot down on the right, exhale, circle the arm, open the chest. <sighs> In. Out. <sighs> In. Out. <sighs> In. Out. Last one. In to hold. Push the palm of the hand away as far as you can. You're really pushing hard. Use all your might to then scoop up the top leg. <sighs> Hips forward. <sighs> Glutes firm. Smile. Stomp the wall with your heels. Stomp the wall with your hand. Breathe and open. Try and always see if you can get up out of this shoulder. Now bending that back leg. If you can, put the toe on the floor just behind the other foot and open up into an arc. This is as far as I can go with this shoulder. So do what you can. If you're trying to turn the breastbone and arc the back, chest to the sky. Unwind, lengthening the leg. Slowly lift up onto the supporting leg. Plant the foot. And now, right arm up, left hand pushes forward for the elbow up, intercostal. It's actually a myofascial stretch more than an elbow up. So you're gonna open up the ribs. Push to twist. Lean away as far as you can hold and breathe. <laughs> this is the tough part. Keep lengthening the spine here, back of the neck open. Hard for me to speak in this one. So I'm just gonna breathe. Push the hips forward. And up. And release. Left hand back to the floor. Right hand pins underneath. You want to exhale here and wring your lungs out so you have nowhere left. That big squeeze pumps you up into this nice open inhale. Exhale, you've got to squeeze everything you've got. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Open, last one. Well done. From here, bring the hand to the floor. Pivot on the toes of the back leg. Scoop up the left knee. Take it across and plant the outside edge of the foot on the floor. You're now bringing the back heel down and turning onto your side to hold. Breathe in. Lift the hips. Lifting, one more, arm up and down. Use your twist, square the hips, bring the knee in for one-legged plank. Adjust, scoop up the belly, broaden your shoulders, bring the head up. Bringing the leg down for our third round of push-ups. 
thumbs and index together, spread your finger and place your hand underneath your breastbone. Scoop up, lengthen the spine and go. Chest to the diamond and up. Exhale down, inhale up. Remember you want your whole trunk coming with you. That's five. We're going to 10. Last two. And one. Beautiful, sitting back, child's pose. Water break, white down break. I was going to try and do this class outside today, but it's freezing. <laughs> and now I'm really hot being inside, so it's good to sweat it out. A bit of detox. Okay, so we're coming to a high kneeling position for the next part. If you need cushioning under your knees, please get some because it can be quite uncomfortable if you have knee problems. And if you have your towel or a block, you can place the block or towel right up at the top parts of your inner thighs in the kneeling position. This will give you a bit more feedback of inner thigh connection to pelvic floor, glutes, abdominals, right? So deep of the belly in. We want to maintain, not this, but a squeeze and a lift, okay? So if you don't have a block, just bring your legs together if you can. Release your feet behind you or tuck them in whatever you prefer. Once again, we're not here. Squeeze and lift. Stack up your spine and lengthen your spine. Now, arms reach forward. Imagine you're holding a magic circle or a big ball. Broaden your shoulder blades. Scoop up through the belly. Lift the spine and open up the rib cage to breathe deeply into the ribs and exhale. Bring the arms down. Keep going. Inhale, arms up. You want to think in through the waist and up, wide through the rib cage. Think of that hourglass shape that you're trying to create, okay, with the breath. Again. So you're getting taller. Now, last one up to hold. You're taller. Lean back, squeeze your block, push your hips forward, abs in. Come back up, exhale and then release. I think I gave you the opposite breath there. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, up. Exhale, arms down. That would be better. Inhale, taller, squeeze your block. Exhale, tall, taller to come back. And now we're gonna add a twist. So inhale, up. Staying here, rotate, open the arms, hold, breathe in, spread your arms, breathe out, twist deeper, squeeze your block, push your hips forward, one more, and then circle the arm to the front. Inhale, other side, twist, open the arms, inhale here, square your, block, uh, your hips, go deeper, spread the hands, and then come back, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift, exhale, turn, inhale, open the arms, exhale, seal it up, inhale, go deeper, exhale, come forward, into a side bend, inhale, up, squeeze your block, Exhale, now side bend out of the way. Scoop and hollow the belly and reach slightly forward. So you're getting out of the quadratus lumborum, which is one side of the lower back. Coming back up, inhale. Go deeper, other side. Scoop the belly in, push the hips forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, we're always going up, not down. And one more. And up, release. We're going into the lean. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist and lean. Come up and twist. Release. Inhale, up. Twist and lean. Exhale. 
Inhale, up, untwist, exhale, release. Again. Up, untwist, release. One more. Center, release. One more to go. Around the world. This is a little tricky. I'm going to show you front on. Inhale, lift. Get taller. Twist. Lean, exhale. Now circle around the rib cage so you're leaning on the other side into the opposite twist to come up on that side. Untwist, release the arms. So now we're going to go the other way. Inhale. Twist, lean, exhale. Through the obliques, round to the other side, lengthen, lift back up, release, release. Very well done. Now we're gonna go into the kneeling cat. From here, find the glutes, lift the arms, inhale. As you exhale, when you imagine that somebody's holding your pelvis where it is, and you're gonna go and try and dive down as far as you can. Before you feel like you're gonna fall, stop. Squeeze your glutes, push your hips forward. Bring your hands back. Make a fist, squeeze your shoulder blades. Now roll up, pushing your fists and knuckles towards the back heels. Open your chest, pinch your shoulder blades. Now turn the head to the right. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades and pushing your fists. Inhale, center. Open up the chest. Exhale, turn the head to the left. Sealing the abdominals in. Inhale, center, lift the chest. Right, uh, right again, rotation. I can't speak anymore. Inhale, center. Left. Inhale, center. And lift the arms, cat again. Exhale, dive down. Imagine somebody's holding those hips in place. When you can't go any further, push the hips forward, scoop the belly in. Bring those hands back, make a fist, push back. Open up the chest as you rebuild the spine, squeeze and open up the lungs. Exhale, turn the head. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now lace the hands. Inhale, lift the heart, exhale, head to chest, roll down, bring the head to the floor, and lift the hands now as high as you can. Scoop the belly muscles in. One more. Hands come to the sacrum, pull your body up through the abdominals, glutes, open the chest at the top to then release. Pat yourself on the back for that one. <laughs> awesome. So we're going to go into our fourth round of push-ups, last round. For this one, you're going to take your hands very wide. Some of you might actually want to go on the fingertips, not on the palms of the hands. So you're going to look like this. Thumbs up. Okay. I'm still in a box position, so I'm on my knees, my abs are in. I'll show you here. Right? Scoop. Broad arms. Now go down to hold. Care if you don't bow your back. Scoop up. Now you're going to push into one arm to straighten it out so it shifts your body over to one side. As if you're gliding your chest on a skateboard or a ball, and then shift to the other side. So I'm showing you here, front on. Down, slide, 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 slide. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. Back to center, push up, and walk the hands underneath you for cat cow. Final part. We're going to be 
getting into the abdominals a little bit. Posterior chain as well to stretch. Sitting with the feet together, knees together. Squeeze everything tight. Hands go behind the thighs, lift the spine up nice and tall. Inhale. As you exhale, scoop and hollow the belly in and roll back through your spine. You're trying to get your lower back sacrum to the floor. Now keep sealing the abdominals deep inside, so use your pelvic floor. Keep that round back and come forward. Here, inhale, lift the breastbone and sit as tall as you can. Keeping those knees firmly together, exhale, roll back. Catch your breath, keep exhaling now to come forward. Once you're on your sit bones, inhale, lift, open the chest. Again. Little deeper if you think you can. And up. Now we're trying to get that lower back on the floor. And up. And then walking the heels in closer to your bum for roll like a ball. Catch the feet or the ankles or shins. Pull everything in tight. Head in, zip the belly tight, drop the shoulders and see if you can now either stay here but curl as tight as you can or if you want to join me for literally roll like a ball. So aim your lower back into the floor and roll back up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. More advanced, wrap the arms around, hold your wrist with the opposite hand, continue. This is tougher even for me. Right hand to left knee, 
left arm up to the ceiling. Namaste. 